Hi, Ryan O'Grady here. Let's get organized for the history module. History is becoming more and more important in public libraries from an unusual source. In the past, a lot of our customer interactions have been to support history education. However, the upsurge in the popularity of genealogy has focused great interest on our local collections and access to old newspapers, as well as the need for help with genealogical databases. At the same time, history education is changing, especially with the availability of digital resources. Our objectives in this module are to explain the difference between primary and secondary sources, demonstrate the ability to use History Resource Center, including limiters, explain offerings in Digital Maryland and Library of Congress digital collections, demonstrate the use of a simple census search in Heritage Quest, explain the resources that can be found in Maryland archives, list local historical resources that customers might be interested in, explain what National History Day is and what library resources might be useful, identify the name of your county's National History Day contact, if it's available, and explain why you might use an image search in Google Image. There are six lessons and four case studies in this module. In lesson one, we are understanding primary sources and learning how to use the Sailor Database History Reference Center. We will also evaluate two websites, the Library of Congress Online Collections and Digital Maryland. You do not have to read every word on these sites. Just get a general sense of what's in there and what resources might help you with the case study, Justin's homework. This should take you about 50 minutes. Lesson two on genealogy has three sub-lessons. Getting started in genealogy, Maryland archives, and local historical resources. In getting started in genealogy, we will look at the Enoch Pratt Free Library's Pathfinder on genealogical research and learn to use Sailor's Heritage Quest database to do a simple census search. Then we will take a close look at the Maryland archives, especially the Find Records tab, the History tab, and the Digital Resources tab. There's a lot on this site, so just get a sense of what's there. Finally, we will brainstorm with colleagues about local historical resources that may be of interest both to genealogists and history buffs. After all this exploration, we will make some recommendations to Mr. Johnson to help in his new hobby. In lesson three, we will take a look at National History Day and its local manifestation, Maryland History Day. Based on many of the sites we have already explored, we will be answering Ms. Jandrow's questions about resources for her class. This should take about 30 minutes to complete. And in lesson four, we will be learning how to use image searching in Google Images to answer reference questions. You will watch a video which explains how to search for images, and then you will practice using an image that you can download for the case study. Here are some tips. Don't overthink the assignments. You don't have to read every word on every web page we've assigned. Just get a general idea of what you can find on the site and what you would point out to your customers. Limit your open forum posts to 250 words or less. Focus on your customer interaction. How would you put them at ease? What questions would you ask? What information would you share? Be sure to reply to another person's post. Ask questions. Your supervisor, system mentors, and LATI staff are here to help you. Finally, have fun learning new things and helping your customers develop a love for history.